Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are returning. Um, welcome if you are just stopping by for the first time. Happy Friday to all y'all. I am gonna go ahead and get into this news story. Um, I do have my other phone in front of me that I'm kind of gonna be going over with you guys. I won't hold you up too long. If you can go ahead and like this video or, you know, thumbs it down, whatever, um, I would greatly appreciate it, y'all. Now that I have returned and I'm making videos, YouTube doesn't really recognize me. So to help, help this video um reach more people if you guys can like i said just thumbs up or thumbs down and just like interact in the comments that should be able to push this content out so more people become aware and um my main goal for this channel is just to make people more aware and just make sure that people are prepared um, for anything and everything they can and um could happen what's going on right now is in the panama canal there is a huge drought that is affecting vessels that are going through and vessels that are not able to get through so just in case you're not familiar with the panama canal and i do have my other phone right here i'm kind of going to be going back and forth as i speak to you all um 40 of all u.s container traffic goes through the panama canal every single year so as you can imagine that is a huge number y'all that's almost 50 percent of all the cargo ships that come through um excuse me travel through that canal so this is a very big deal this is all the more reason to prep and stay prep if you have friends family loved ones who are not prepping you may want to share this video with them just so they become aware and they can do their own research we don't just prep because of like what happened a couple of years ago because of shutdowns we prep for potential job loss um change of income um things like this that we can't control because everything is not in our control and obviously this can affect what we get so we don't know what's on these ships and the cargo vessels it can be from everyday household items to clothing shoes food i don't know but again, that is going to affect the store inventory. So I'm not saying that go out and clear out the shelves and that you won't be able to find what you need. Sometimes it's just a matter of the items that we're used to getting. They might not have them in stock or they have a limited amount of those items. So we may have to, you know, switch to another brand or, um, or something like that. I'm not saying that they're going to clear out of everything. So with this also being said, they do say that this is going to get worse before it gets better. As you can imagine, there were 154 commercial vessels that were waiting and the average wait time to cross was 21 days. So the Panama Canal is a critical trade link for U.S. shippers heading to the Gulf and East Coast ports. And again, the U.S. is the largest user of the Panama Canal with both export and import containers representing, representing about 73% of Panama Canal traffic. As of today, there are more than 200 ships that are stuck on both sides of the Panama Canal because again, the authorities have capped the number of crossings because of the drought. And of course, they're carrying millions of dollars worth of things, you guys. So some of those... Um, some of those cargo ships can take weeks to cross. It just depends on when they're able to get through. So this is also going to um, cause Panama to lose 200 million. That's the set estimate. 200 million in revenue from the delays. And with that being, or with the items being delayed, y'all, you can best believe that it's going to affect our grocery prices. And our grocery prices are already high anyways, even for everyday prices. And I know, I would say, even like a year or two ago, Walmart to me anyways, was one of the lower priced um, or more affordable places to shop, especially having a larger family because Walmart everyday low prices. Now, not so much. You guys let me know what you think about their prices, but I definitely think their prices have gone up even with their clearance prices i would say the clearance prices that i got in 2022 i would say any time before june january to june 2022 and before that i noticed i would actually get what i consider actually or actual clearance deals now not so much if you go there they might mark a couple of dollars off of the original price and label that as clearance and to me if you're a couponer or anything you're not going to be impressed by Walmart's clearance any longer, at least not in my area. I mean, I'm not so quick to grab things where else like a couple of years ago, I was able to stock up on every, everything you can think of. I had a like huge stockpile of things um, that were marked down because a dollar, I'm talking about dollar name brand deodorant, like dollar, um, 
dollar body wash name brand body wash i never showed y'all that haul but anyways i'm not going to linger on about that but again this can cause like the grocery prices to increase and i don't think any of us need that at this point they do say that some people or some of the ship owners have resorted to rerouting their journeys so avoid the backlog i don't know how much of that is doable the canal uses three times much as water as new york city on a daily basis and needs rainfall to replace it so that is a huge issue restrictions for the number of vessels passing has been extended to september the 2nd as of now of course that may change day to day just depending on the backlog and Without enough rainfall, the ship transits are cut and the lucky ones that cross pay hefty premiums. So they're also incurring a cost just to be able to, or a heavier cost to be able to go through. The reason for the massive pileup is due to um, water conservation measures that the Panama Canal Authority deployed, it looks like in late July, due to the drought. So 40% of all U.S. container traffic travels through the can the canal every year and that's about 270 billion dollars in cargo every single year one thing that's also changed over the last couple of years and even more so in the last couple of months is the weather weather has been very unpredictable i mean obviously the weather is unpredictable but i'm talking about there have been tornadoes in like places like cities and states that don't see tornadoes or areas that just don't see tornadoes there have been earthquakes in places that typically don't have earthquakes and they're just like rare like we've had a few in North Carolina and y'all we don't have earthquakes like that's that's just not a thing for us we experience a lot of like snow in certain areas and hurricanes like back home where I'm from we have hurricanes like I'm used to hurricanes but earthquakes are not something that we experience just like in California um last week they had that hurricane that came through that's not usual for you know California they're the ones that experience more the, like the earthquakes and like the mudslides and things like that right so i think that is another reason just to make sure that we're prepared and are just um just staying on guard i mean you don't want to live your life on in fear and you definitely don't want to just always think about the next disaster that's going to happen but definitely stay vigilant stay aware and just make sure you're doing what you can um so that we don't get caught off guard because i always feel you like you never know what's going to be the next thing to hit we saw what 2020 looked like the chaos of people running into the store like the mass is just running into the store i know like whenever there, there's a hurricane that's like forecasted to hit or you know to even come to our area people are running out grabbing milk they always grab milk bread milk bread is the eggs i know milk and bread milk and bread and i've never figured that out because it's like y'all if we're gonna like there's a chance that we're gonna lose power why why are we buying milk why are we buying milk we should have self, shelf stable milk at this point now that you know i prep and i prepare shelf stable milk y'all is what we need so we can go ahead and buy that you can run a dollar tree today and get you some shelf stable milk to go in there that way you don't clear the shelves off milk that's not going to go be good because it's in your fridge because your power goes out unless you have a generator or some source to um keep the the refrigerator or freezer in your home running and even to an extent uh that's not you kind of have to pick your poison with that right because you never know how long your power is going to be out so that's all that's a whole another ball game so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up let me know what your thoughts are and are you guys preparing as much as you should be in still like buying weekly or have you kind of like just slowed down and kind of just gone with the flow and got back into the routine of like everyday life and kind of just have you know thrown pe prepping to the wayside let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay safe.